Hello, good morning, my dear Matayum 3 students. How are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Now, today we're going to uh, continue our lesson on quadratic equations. So, we are already here with the completing the square. Okay, so we're going to figure out uh, what would be the roots or the solution set for the following quadratic equation using completing the square. Okay, so for this one, as you can see here in our slides, uh, first slide, you can see here we have to, first is we have to rearrange, and the second one is to add, okay, the, uh, we have here to divide the value of the coefficient for b, and get the power for that, power 2, okay, and the third one is to factor out and find the answer, okay. So we have here the example. So again, completing the square is also one way of uh, finding the roots or the solution set for any quadratic equation. Okay, so we have here the first one. Uh, we have here x power 2 plus 9x plus 4 equals to 0. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is uh, we're going to transpose this constant value to the right side. Okay, so we have here from positive 4, it becomes negative 4. Because we're going to make this left side into a perfect square. Okay, now we know already what is the perfect square, right? So the second step is you will look at the coefficient of this variable x having the power 1, okay, which is 9. Nah? So we're going to divide this by 2. Okay, and we're going to add that as the third term of our perfect square, this one, and take the uh, power 2 for that. So you will have 9 over 2 power 2. Okay, so this makes a perfect square already. Now, to make it balance, and uh, this will be equal still to the original equation, we need to add, okay, the same value 9 over 2 power 2 on the right side. Okay, so it will be balanced. They'll equal to the first equation that we have here, this one. So this is, this equation is equal to this equation still. Na? Okay, so this one is a perfect square, so we can write that in this format. So this is the value for A, base A, and this is the uh, base B. Okay, so since that is all positive, then we have here positive. So it can be written as x plus 9 over 2, power 2, right? Now on the right side, we can simplify this. So 9 power 2 is 81, and 2 power 2 is 4, and uh, we combine this, okay, by adding, we have a cross multiply, 4 times negative 4 is negative 16, plus 81 over 4, okay? We simplify this further, this will be 81 minus 16, that would be 65, okay? Now, we take the square root of both sides, left and right, we have this one, okay? Now, again, remember that we, if we take the square root, okay, of the any uh, real numbers, we can, we're going to apply plus or minus because uh, any square root would have an answer of plus or minus, okay? Now after that, for this uh, for the right, uh, left side, this will be canceled out too, will be canceled out with the radical sign. We have this one. You see this one with, uh, with, uh, without the power 2 already? And here, we get the square root of 4 that makes 2 here, but 65 we cannot do that, right? Because it's not a perfect square, okay? So to simplify further, we're going to, again, transpose this uh, uh, term to the right side, okay? This becomes negative, together with one would be positive and the other one is negative, na? Okay, my? So we can simplify this, we can, since that the denominator are uh, the same, so we can combine that and we can add this, negative 9 plus square root of 65, and the other one, we have negative 9 minus square root of 65 over 2. So these are the two roots or the solution set for this quadratic equation. Okay? Did you understand, my? So again, remember that uh, whenever that you use completing the square, we need to rearrange this first na, into the standard form. So when you say the standard form, uh, the first term would be the, the uh, with the power 2, with the quadratic, and the next will be the first uh, degree, and we have here the constant, and equal to 0. Okay? Uh, do you have any question, Mai? Now we go to the second example we have here. Oops. 
this one. So we have here uh, 3x power 2 plus 6x minus 9 is equals to 0. So this one is already in a standard form. Chai mai? Standard form already. Now, you will see here our leading coefficient is more than 1. We have 3. So we cannot uh, uh, start first with the step for the completing the square for this. So we need to eliminate this value here, the leading coefficient. Na? So what we're going to do is to divide this by 3, the whole equation with 3, okay? So for this one, it will become x power 2. For this one, it will be 6 by uh, divided by 3 is 2x. Then 9 divided by 3 is negative 3, okay? Now, you will see here that our leading coefficient, this one, is only 1. Nah? So we can again transpose this negative 3 to the right side. It becomes positive 3. Okay, and again we look at the uh, variable x. We have here two. We divide this by two. Okay, two divided by two is one. So we add here one power two. And on the right side as well, we add the same value one power two. Okay, so this one is already a perfect square. This one a perfect square. So we can write this. This is the base a and the base b. So we can write x plus one power two. Since that's all positive, then we have here all uh, positive also. Now, on the right side, we have, this will be 1 plus 3 is 4, okay? Now, we take the square root of both sides. So, the square root of this and the square root of this, again, remember, plus or minus, okay? So, for this one, since there is power 2, we cancel out. Uh, square root of this will be x plus 1, na? And the square root of 4 is 2. So, that is why we have plus or minus, na? Okay, my. Now, again, uh, to simplify further, we transpose 1 to the right side. It will be becomes negative 1 and split this into two values as positive 2 and negative, one, uh, negative 2. Okay, so you have here minus 1 plus 2 and minus 1 and negative 2. We we'll simplify it and we have 1 and this will be negative 3. Okay, my. So therefore, the value of x for this uh, quadratic equation are 1 and negative 3. Okay, question. Now, Chamai, now we go to our last example here, number 3. So we have here 4x power 2 plus 8x plus 7 is equal to 4. Okay, so this is already in standard form, but we need to combine these two constant. We have 7 and 4. Na? So 7, so we can transpose 4 to the left side. It becomes negative. So 7 minus 4 is 3, right? Now, again, we check the leading coefficient which is 4. So we cannot start yet the, in completing the square. So we're going to divide uh, the whole equation by 4 so that the leading coefficient, this one, will be eliminated. Na? Now, so we have here divided by 4. This will be x power 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2x. 3 divided by 4 is 3 fourths. Na? And then equals to 0. Okay. So you will see here that our leading coefficient is only 1. Now, we can transpose this uh, constant to the right side. It becomes negative 3 over 4. Okay? Now, again, for this one, we have 2 here again. So, we're going to divide it by 2. Okay? So, 2 divided by, divided by 2 is 1. So, we can add here 1 power 2. And on the right side also, we have also here 1 power. So, this will be 1 power 2 or 1, the same. Na? Okay, my. So, we can write this. This is now a perfect square, this one. This is complete. The square is complete already, completed. Na? So we can write, you have the x and 1, x plus 1, okay? So power 2, okay? Now here we simplify further, we have 4 times 1 is 4, you have here, blah, positive, then negative 3, okay? So that would be equal to how much? 4 minus 3 is 1 over 4, okay? Now we take the square root of both sides. Take the square root of both sides. Again, automatic, we have the plus or minus if we take the square root of this one. Na? Now, again, we have, for this one, it becomes x plus 1, okay? We have here the power 2, square root of this will be x plus 1, and the square root of 1 is 1, and square root of 4 is 2. So, we have here plus or uh, minus 1 half. Na? So, again, remember that um, uh, for any square root, na, especially if uh, you are not uh, taking that for, for measurement, so simply there will be two values for any square root, right? We have plus or minus. For this one, we just write already the plus or minus. Na? 
Still the same. Now, again, we simplify this further. We transpose 1 to the right side. It becomes negative 1. Then split this as plus or minus. Plus 1 half. Then negative 1. Then negative 1 half. Simplify further. We have 2 times negative 1 is uh, negative 2. Plus 1 is negative 1 over 2. For this one, we have uh, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Minus 1 is negative 3 over 2. So therefore, the solution set or the roots for this equation that we have here, uh, we have here negative 1 half and negative 3 over 2. Okay, Mai? Did you understand, Mai? So I hope that uh, you understand how to uh, use this method on figuring uh, the solution set or the values of x for any quadratic equation. Okay? So that's all for today and we see you again next time. Bye-bye. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. A lot, I sell every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway and in the driveway